Hello, and welcome back to Anodyne. I remembered where to use that extra key in this dungeon, but it's pointless. So, yep, can't return to the Nexus from a dungeon. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, welcome to Anodyne. It's time for space. Space has a lot of ladders in it and geometry. Oh. I thought that was a gap. It is not. Not yet. I guess. Anyway. Hello, have you met Cube yet? Cube is a very good ruler of this portion of space. Us other rulers do our best in our spaces as well. This triangle is spinning. Is the hologram device working correctly? No? Damn. Hello, E-Cube. None of us Great Pyramids are actually here. We use special devices that let us project ourselves here. Why do we do that? Because we want to talk to our friend Cube and keep Cube company. Fair enough. Hello there, I'm the ruler of this part of space. What's that? You want to know why I'm here? Are you sure? It'll take me quite a few words to explain why. Oh boy, here we go. A pause. <clears throat> well, if you insist, though you might be better off just walking off to that hotel in the distance. Don't know why they went through with the construction of it. If I had any money to be taxed, I'd surely be complaining. Well, even though I'm the ruler of this part of space, I'm not really ruling over anyone. Those friends of mine, they're all rulers of their own parts of space, ruling no one really either. We're all alone in that respect. But we're not alone in that we talk to each other, and in other ways we are not alone too. This is just one place in which I exist. My friends and I, our parts of space, have a lot of commonality to them in why they exist and how they're organized, similar interests and desires, and the like. We like to talk a lot about how to rule and so forth. The tragic thing is that we rarely, if ever, get to meet each other in the physical form. So you're not actually talking to their physical forms, but a representation of them in some holographic form. I know, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because we share so much in common, but we can only help each other as friends so much. There's just a small thing lacking when you can't have a one-on-one -on -one physical conversation all the time. But I'm not complaining. It's better than nothing at all. I can't imagine what it would be like otherwise. Something terrible. It was nice talking at you. Good luck with whatever you're up to. You're still here? I can tell you everything again if you'd like. No. Okay. <coughs> so this is a part of the game where there's a lot of dialogue that doesn't mean anything. What do you think of this chunk of space? It is a nice waypoint, no? It is not, because it is not, it does not actually have one. Is it taking a nap? Here lies Bird. The cliffs weren't feeling too friendly. Are you ready for this one? Here lies Bag. It never had a chance. Pretentious! Da -da 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 -da. Even if the game is calling itself pretentious, it doesn't excuse anything at all. What's over here? Uh, these are not enemies, nor talk to a bulls. However, there is the Black Cube King. King of nothing. 
They always said, get off the computer, or, you're nev or you'll never make friends. It does look kind of like a desktop computer tower, I guess. But also, I guess this area exists to try and make fun of me for having better friends online than I do in physical form for the most part. I don't know. That for the most part is important. Also. How about this side of space? Have you met Cube? It does such cool things. I heard once it stood on an edge for nearly 12 seconds. Oh man, do you know what that means for the League of Edge Standers? No? Well, a lot. <coughs> if you say so. I'm from Sugarloaf in trans transit to Taipei. Why am I here? Oh, I stopped by to say hi to Cube! Hello, Cube. Don't look so down. This place is just an odd representation so as to not shock all of the visitors. It's mostly harmless as far as we can tell. Oh wait, you say the same thing as the... as the guy below you. Okay. How are you today? I'm the ruler of this partition and interpretation of space. You want to know why I'm the ruler of this place? I'll tell you, but it'll take a while. Like, a long while. An obnoxiously long while. Like, quite a while. No, really, I'm warning you. I tend to ramble. Maybe you'd be better off just scooping out the contents of that chest over there, heading off to the hotel in the distance. Don't know how that got there. I heard they have relatively cheap rates. Not that money matters here. Why am I the ruler? I'm not sure why, but my friends around here saw it fit to put me in this position because of the immediate state of the space. Maybe this is the case because cubes are best at sitting still on flat surfaces. Hmm. As for why someone needs to sit up here, that's beyond me! The others, my friends over there, have merits of their own. It's not like they couldn't sit up here in the future, they just can't do it now. Sometimes we switch off who's the ruler, but every time we always have to reinterpret this region of space. Perhaps Mr. or Mrs. Pyramid comes up here because we decide to make the throne shaped in a way that best fits them, by reimagining this world, so to speak. Does that sound silly? It might be. But that's how it is. It happens quite fast. Minutes, hours, not necessarily a long reign. Though, when I am ruler, it feels slightly strange. I somewhat feel isolated, wanting to be avoidant of others. But isolation is not the right word, though it covers parts of the feeling. I'm not isolated, and I don't dislike the others. We consider ourselves all friends, but you know, no one really comes up here except to say a few words. So I have to think about things, or I might go crazy. Maybe that's part of the isolation. Outside, outside of those inane questions about why we're here, occupying this space, <coughs> I'm curious as to why we're even friends. I like to think that whenever we're under the interpretations that I'm best to rule, that they give me comfort in being able to hold this position for as long as it takes to reach the next interpretation. You know, encouragement and the like, their physical presence, those are comforting. I suppose that's enough to satisfy me, though it would be nice to have one or two of them try to understand how I feel about being a ruler. Not that I'm complaining about encouragement, but maybe then we could have multiple rulers. What a thought! Maybe that implies that when I'm not ruler, I must act the same way I sometimes wish they would. Who knows if that can be done. I've gone on too long. If you head off in the other direction, there's another similar region of space, though I think it smells a bit different. It was nice to meet you. Oh, you want to hear my story again? No. So, uh... Yeah. Here lies Savage. He tried to fix my computer in the garage once, and didn't take up much space while doing so. Three years later, he still hadn't finished. Then he dropped dead. don't know what to say about that. Hey, Sleeping Pyramid. Bzzzert. That's how I feel right about now. Here lies Unreadable. Who wrote this? He was impaled by rainbows. Would have been better with achievements. What? 
Shut up, video game. These hexagons are relatively happy. Here lies Dave. He wasn't very inspirational. What does the other cube have to say? I'm only the ruler for the extent of a conversation. Is that why you make your conversation so long? That was space. It's a little less long winded than I remember. I know cities can be dirty and crowded and everything, but I like to come out here and look over all the lights. Or look out over all the lights. It's beautiful in its own way. It's not nearly as infinite as the stars, but there's something about its humanness that adds a layer of wonderful complexity. Behind every light is a person with hopes and fears and secrets. Looking out is both terrifyingly lonely and fiercely personal. I think I love every person behind every window. I love you. I love you, people, for being my stars. I love you no matter how fucked up your life is or how far you think you've fallen. You are lovely for tonight. I'm sorry, I'm babbling. Thanks for listening. Okay. I don't love whoever didn't fix this room. And now, the hotel. It's a dungeon. I mean, of course it's a dungeon. Oops. Oh, come on. I think this is the most complicated dungeon in the game. It might be that I was oh right cracks. It might be that I was supposed to do uh, the thing that the realm of the blood god led to first instead of this. But I mean, there's not really a set order. Hello, evil maid. This place would have really cheap rates. Most of it doesn't exist. At least the floor, anyway. Oh man, slimes have evolved to shoot pellets. I guess. Good for them, I suppose. This music sounds like it belongs in a Spyro game now. I mean, it took it a little bit of time to build up to that, but... I've played a few Spyro games, and I don't remember them having any broken down hotels. Maybe I'm not remembering hard enough. jump was a little bit more forgiving so that I had to care a little bit less. This 
part actually looks like a hotel. Now the music has to build up again. gonna go down that's right I'm already getting confused and it's not even confusing yet oh I see when I pick up dust the maid gets mad because I guess she wanted to oh yeah I guess these people still exist and now they're willingly throwing themselves off of cliffs if they wander over to them anyway. That guy seems content to move in very small squares. Come on, guy. You can do it. Run away from this game. Probably no reason at all to wait for this guy to fall off a cliff, actually. But I kind of want to. I mean, all of the other ones ran off the cliff, so this guy's gonna do it eventually. Right. Turn up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Come on. you want to get get out of this horrible hotel and there's only one way for you to do that right now right he's getting so close oh man he's straddling the line between tiles even yay okay <coughs> so that happened I almost forgot how buttons work for a second. Oh, great. One thing with this game that I can't help but notice is that sometimes gaps and gaps in elevation look too similar. spent the sort of budget that you would need to have laser turrets on the walls to like repair some of its floor maybe that might be asking for too much Go in this key drawer. But first.
Diagonal jumps don't feel safe, but I guess you don't have to do any in this room. But, uh, oh, but I don't know why I was expecting that. Oh, wait. No, no, I got this. Took me a second to comprehend the lack of exits on the left for some reason. I got a card of an enemy that I haven't actually had to properly deal with yet. I'll bet you think you're making my job interesting. Um, by helping you? Kind of? I mean, you're pushing... You're, you're mad when I clean up your dust. So this is floor one, right? No, it's not actually. What floor is that? So we start on floor four. Alright. <clears throat> what if I tried going in descending order then? Hey! I don't think there's anything actually disgustingly wrong with this hotel that needs the services of a hazmatter in right now. Though maybe there are roaches in it, I forgot. Really. This room is familiar because I played this game before. So it should be, probably. Hello. Okay. So they're only damageable when they get mad at you. They're not really threatening, because they move so slowly. That was a worthwhile segment. That rafting there. That flower is doing there. This hotel is just like, why don't I have all the enemies here? <laughs> oh no, these poor sheeple are imprisoned by potted plants. What could this mean? the giant eye about as optimal as I think I can get that jump. So, perhaps not. I'm on 
for two mil. Floor one is meaningful. Finest amenities here. How do you like the pool? Um, I love the pool because I just glitched my way straight to the boss fight. Also, <laughs> oh, good times by accident, Mr. Manager. Um, that sure is a lot of. Uh... All right, you are a multi-stage boss fight. You're special. You've got uh, rather garish, mishmashed colors for your lower half, if I do say so. so. We hope you enjoyed your stay. I enjoyed my accidentally brief stay, actually, a little bit. Um, I think I should probably do the dungeon properly, but, because <laughs> I mean, there's, there's definitely cards that I missed somewhere. That is almost certain. Well, there's a card of the manager. Swipe this card to unlock the door to your room. Ha <laughs> ha. That might be a joke. I don't know. Ooh. Am I stuck now? Well, I mean, I can do that, so not really. Um... Anyway... By the way, that glitch that I just did by accident may or may not be one of the glitches that you have to do on purpose to get an item that is extremely well hidden on purpose and is not actually... Well, okay, so there's 48 spaces to fill in this card menu, right? There's a 49th card. You have to glitch to get it. And then the game can glitch further, and so you have 50. But, you know, whatever. There's only 37 in the main game. I'm getting ahead of myself, because I really want to complain about this game's post-game, I guess. That said, I still don't know if I'm going to actually do this game's post-game. Hmm. Okay. I guess I just have to press them rapidly enough. This room is to teach you that you can walk diagonally. A, a key. Yes, great. I'm sure I needed that. What's the matter, Mead? I'm helping. There's another key door over there. Don't care. This room looks like fun. That was fun. So you can jump over these. Quite anyway. and is this going to be a card of one of these things finally? Yes, it is. Wait, can I just... Well, I mean... Just die. Still get the card. I hate diagonals. Me too. Was it three? It was three. So that does... this room does work. Ooh. 
Oh wait, no, this is simple. I guess you are supposed to know that you can stand on the cubes. It's a little weird. It's probably like at least one more card in here somewhere. I believe I know where this is. through those rapids. Okay, so they're not really a problem, but no, I got that thing. Don't even try that Clarity and Clear shit with me. Wow, that's a uh... Okay, just, just reference, straight up, reference a brand of medication, why don't you? I hope that Claritin didn't pay the Anodyne developers for free advertising space because it wouldn't be worth it. Anything on the map that I'm... Well, okay, there's quite a lot on one of the floors that I'm missing. How did I get there again? just one of the floors, that would be convenient. Well, it is, but... Right, since I kind of glitched my way through those gates, I don't know how to actually get here. I mean, I guess this is floor one, so I need to go down from floor two, logically speaking. But that just puts me over here again. I must have been missing something obvious though. Like there was a bit of dust somewhere, and I didn't think of taking it between rooms. I mean, not that dust. That would be... Maybe it's possible to make my way across this part in some little hole. Yeah, there we go. satisfy you. I guess they're just like anti-maids. They don't obey the rules. They're rebels without a cause. Enables a shortcut to that room, I suppose. And this is going to be a key room.
I can almost fight the boss. <laughs> Video games. I made a mistake. I cannot sweep while submerged. Word to the wise. Except that was blocked, yeah. Yeah, what's the deal? And I don't have the key for this. Well, I didn't go straight to the left here. Which is perfectly doable. So. Pretty obvious what the joke here is. Uh, not so much here, though. So, I need to go down, wait, no, that's, okay, I need to go, down from here, but actually I need to go, thing is I don't need to do this at all because I already cheated by accident but I mean the gameplay for the most part is like the decent part about this game so I guess I want to show the dungeon whoops I screwed up what why did you face that way I refuse to try and do that extremely precise jump in the room above. Why not just shortcut to there? Please. <laughs> 
least there's four pieces of dust. Oh, it doesn't just reverse your controls, it messes with them a little bit more than that. Oh well. Oh no, dogs can walk on water. I was not aware of that. And that was the hotel. Okay, right then. It took me like 15 extra minutes to do the part that I accidentally skipped the first time. Anyway. Oh wait, this counts as the hotel? I mean, I guess it would make sense for it, too. I guess I have to go to space to return to the Nexus, easily. I could have just gone to the warp pad. Apparently not. Also, I forgot to get a teleporter that was at the beach, where the fishermen got murdered. There's also a health pick up there and a card of the fishermen. I should probably go get that, but maybe next time, because that was enough tomfoolery for today. Do you have anything to say yet? You have found all the cards in one area of the land, and as a result, a gem has appeared on the top of the area's portal. Okay, you do explain that. Whatever! 